Meanwhile, dozens of people came out to honor and remember a Greenbelt teacher that went missing back in July. Her remains were found days later. Yeah, and today her loved ones, students and several county leaders gathered at a mosque in Lanham to share their condolences. Our reporter Yamare Zasay was there and has the very latest. Yeah, it was a very emotional day for so many people as they cried, prayed, and said their last goodbyes to Miriam Sila, who was also known to her students as Madame Sila. Now they tell me that the impact she's made will always be remembered. It was such a lovely lady, kind school, and had such a love for teaching and the love for her kids that she taught. A Greenbelt teacher missed by many. I remember her as an incredible person who I really looked up to. On Friday, dozens of people came together at the mosque in Lanham to honor and remember Miriam Toure Sila. The bond that she created with us through the little things that she did are really special things that I'll remember. Sila went missing on July 29th after going for her daily walk at a park near her Greenbelt home. On August 1st, a dismembered body was found near a lake in Clinton, Maryland, and through DNA, police identified it as Sila's. The suspect, Harold Landon III, was arrested and charged a month later. She was such a kind person, and to have her be taken this this so fast and in this in this manner. It was senseless. Since then, the halls of Dory Kennedy French immersion hasn't been the same. It was heartbreaking, but everybody mostly tried to keep a positive attitude during it, even though I think everybody knew they were hurting inside. But her family we are able to bury my little sister Maria with dignity. Co-workers, students, and community will forever remember the impact she's had on their lives. I hope she can see this. I said I hope she's looking down and seeing all the love um, that, that people felt for her. The suspect Landon will be in court next week for a bond hearing. For now, reporting in Atlanta, Maryland, I'm Yamari Sisei, DC News Now.